Hi there, my name is Jane and this is Loopy Mabel's Closet and in today's video it's all about my latest sewing, the Tartan Wilder gown which is modelled on Mabel right next to me. So if you fancy joining me for some sewing chatter, I shall see you in a minute. Welcome back. Before I start on the Tartan Wild gown, just thought I'd give you a reminder of what I'm wearing. It is the In the Falls ruffle sleeve top I made out of my Nana's old vintage back cloth curtains, made it a few months ago. I almost actually put it in the charity bag last week because I'm not keen on v-necks. I like um, things around my neck or higher up. And because it was v-neck and when I made it in the like August I think I made it I thought oh well, that's not too bad v-neck but I just don't like the v-neck so I almost well in fact I did put it in the charity bag and I even put it in the charity bag on the doorstep ready for them to collect went out and got my groceries and when I was out getting my groceries I thought I wish I hadn't put that top in the charity bag now oh i wonder if the bag is still there so i finished my groceries like a woman possessed all the way around tesco drove home thinking oh it's bound to have gone and sure enough the bag was still on the doorstep so i didn't i didn't even park the car i just pulled the car up outside the house ran to the front door rummaged through the bag took this top out resealed the bag and brought it back in so it almost went to charity so I'm glad I didn't because I'm wearing it today and I've layered it up with my usual layered tops underneath and loving it. So I've just posted a picture as well on Instagram. So yeah, so I'm really pleased. So that was a close shave. Um, but so if I made this top again, I would probably hack the neck area and make cut out the V bit. I just don't like the V and make it more round neck <clears throat> and that would probably solve that problem. So back to Mabel the mannequin who is beautifully modelling my Wilder gown in this gorgeous tartan jersey knit fabric that I got from the lovely Jay from well, her YouTube is Camden Stitch and her fabric little business on Instagram is called The Fabric Edit and I've had quite a few bits of fabric from Jay and this is one of them and it's, it is a jersey knit but it's, it's only got a slight stretch to it one way and no stretch at all the other way so I thought I could get away with the wild gown. The idea was to make it for Christmas, over Christmas, you know, over the going out and about, going out for dinner, going out for meals, going visiting family and what have you. I thought, great, throw it on, very Christmassy, tights, boots, great. So obviously I cut it all out and I was really pleased because I've gone down two dress sizes since I made it last. But the last time I made it, if you recall, I made it in the reindeer fabric and I just made the first tier length so it was just like the smock version which I quite liked so I thought I'd make the full length dress version and yeah it's really long and it goes right down to my ankles and what have you and I changed the sleeves the sleeves for the wilder gown I don't know whether you remember or recall but the sleeves are straight down sleeve and I prefer the sleeves to the Roscoe blouse, like the gathered with a bound gathered cuff. So I did a little bit of a pattern hack and added the sleeves similar to the Roscoe blouse. So here are the sleeves, really pleased with how they've come out. But then when I tried the dress on today, I took a few pictures in the garden and I'll pop them up there. I'm not keen. So I want your opinion, does it suit? I just felt like I was like a, a tartan sack of spuds wearing it. I don't know whether because I don't very often wear dresses. I'm a trousers all day long girl. Always trousers with accessories, tops, layers, that type of thing. I'd even wear like a short, the smock length dress, but I would wear it over trousers, over linen pants, what have you. So I don't know whether it's because it's a full length dress and I'm not used to wearing a dress, or I just don't know whether it's it's just my thing. I don't know. It's because it's it's better than it's much better than the chiffon debacle 
that I showed you not so long ago because that had that just come straight down from the you know that just came straight down all the way and it just looked like a nighty whereas this has got the bodice and then it comes from the bodice so it has got a bit more shape but I still feel it's just got it's still got a touch of nighty or a look of nighty well it does on me so I've took loads of photos and I've, put, I've tried it on with this this, roll knee, this um, rolled neck top underneath for layer one to see what that effect would, what was like. And I just don't think that section of the neck showing on this lovely neck, because I do like the neck. I think it's lovely, the gathered neck. Um, I, don't, I think that detracted from it, so that didn't work. But so I would, if I did wear a top underneath, it would be, you know, like a, a t-shirt, neck long sleeve and i've got loads of those and then you wouldn't see the neck <clears throat> so i think that spoiled it so then i took then i took the top this top off and i tried it without any tops on underneath i just had a vest on underneath and that that felt a bit better and it looked better it looked less cluttered around the neck area um but i still still not convinced and i just thought i'd ask your lovely opinions what you think i know you all said that the chiffon one did look a little bit like a nighty, and he gave me some ideas on, on maybe what to do with that and I've still got that hanging up and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that um, but do I is it because it's not a, is it because it's a dress and I'm not used to it or does it not suit me is it just not my style I just it just I just feel as if it's it's just not shapely enough so I really want your opinion so tell me what you think in the box below and I shall I do value your opinion in your comments and I, I know when um, I make things my daughter Sophie she's 30 when I'm sewing and she, she comes she comes around all the time because she only lives around the corner when she pops in and I'm saying oh look what I've made she'll go oh mom that's gorgeous will you make me one so I know she likes it so when she came today and I said oh come have a look at my new tartan dress for Christmas and it was only on the hanger and I showed her it and she went, oh yeah, that's nice, yeah, Christmassy. I knew straight away she, she didn't think much of it either. <laughs> so that put me off. So, but that's, I mean, just because she doesn't like it doesn't mean to say I'm not going to like it. But I just thought, oh, maybe there is something about it. John, my husband, likes it. He thinks it's really nice. And my mum thinks it's really nice. But they haven't, they didn't see me wearing it. So when I put it on, I just looked down and I thought, oh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just don't know whether it's my style. I don't know whether it's my thing. Then I added one of my little crochet, little neck shawl, thinking, oh, well, that might liven it up. And then I felt a little bit like a little house on the prairie wearing that. It didn't go. Yeah, so I just thought I would show you it. I mean, I've made it. It's made beautifully. I mean, I managed to pattern match the front. Everywhere else just went pear-shaped because, that's, you know, I'm still... I'm still um, learning that skill so i enjoyed making it and it's a lovely saw really simple saw so if you're fairly new new to sewing i would highly recommend this pattern because it is a really simple pattern to follow and um it's really pretty i love the neck detail but i'm just not sure whether the style is for me so please let me know in your in the comments box what you think am i being a bit too critical on myself does it look okay or would you say no it's just not me i remember jay actually on the camden stitch she made one and she made one in like a black and white floral uh type of fabric and she wasn't all that impressed with hers and she asked us off for our opinions and um i think in the end she changed the tie she had like a different color tie she changed the tie and she, i think she did something else with hers and then she wore it with a jacket and it looked gorgeous so maybe I'm just being a little bit too self-critical and it's because it's a dress and I'm just not used to wearing a dress. So, um, I mean, I will wear it. I just put, you know, when you put something on, you've made something and you just know, yeah, this is it. I love it. I'm going to wear it. Don't care who, what anybody thinks. You know, that lovely feeling. But when I put it, this on today, I didn't have that lovely feeling. I just had that like, it's a bit nighty dress type of look. So, yeah, so that's my tartan wilder gown 
I'm not sure and I'd really value your opinion so please let me know in the comments box below I don't mind either way whether you like it or you don't think it's for me please let me know and then at least I'll get a bit of a flavour what people think although I'm not bothered about what people think you know if I'm going to wear something and I like it I will wear it but you know when you just need a little bit of um, sewing sister's opinion I think that's what I need for this one so I would love if you could just tell me what you think in the box below maybe it just needs to maybe I just need to wear it and just get used to the fact that it's a dress maybe that's that's what I need to do so I hope you liked this video if you did please don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed and you like to follow along with my sewing journey then please hit the subscribe button then you'll never miss out on anything that I make and so I've got lots more things ready to vlog about in the next week or so so they will all be coming all my new makes uh, but until the next time thank you so much for watching and following me along and happy sewing <laughs>